consorted with at least um, to a great extent uh, the fact that uh, we had a very good chat with uh, uh, Nick and he agreed that it was not possible for him to run for another term. However, uh, we have a small legal problem. Yeah, and uh, Honorable Caroli here being my senior, can, uh, you can think through it, and uh, you, even as a committee, you can put this to the elections, uh, FKF elections board. It's the question of whether, if you do not qualify as a president, you can qualify as a vice president. If you have exhausted your term lit limit as a president, uh, can you then run as a uh, vice president or deputy president? In other words, let me put, let, let me put it in. So you will answer later, but uh, this is my, my thinking. Put it in black and white. Can President uh, deputize anybody in 2027 elections? Um, my answer is no. And the, 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 the answer, and I have, again, for, for the sake of the country, because I get asked this question all, all of for transparency, I have had a candid discussion with uh, Nick. I don't know where it's, my phone is. I've had a candid discussion with, uh, sorry, it's here. I've had a candid discussion with Nick, and um, I wanted to read the committee, uh, the provisions of our constitution. Our own constitution says that um, the deputy president, uh, each candidate in a presidential election shall nominate a person who is qualified for nomination for elections as a president as candidate for deputy president. You know, your qualification to become deputy president, you must have the qualification of being a president. What, why is that so? Because in either case of temporary incumbency or incapacity of the president, you are the president. So if the president dies or sick or uh, uh, removed from office, you automatically become the president. And if that situation happens, you you, 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 you flaunt the two-term limit. So in essence, uh, our constitution of Kenya in relation to the president of Kenya and the deputy president of Kenya uh, 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 provides the same. The American uh, constitution in the 12th amendment says, no person constitutionally ineligible to the office of the president shall be eligible to that of vice president of the United States. So, since I have had this conversation with my friend Nick, and I, I promised it during my vetting uh, and, uh, that I was going to have this conversation, I really think it will be good for the FKF Elections Board to make it in black and white to s stop people from coming to my office, because I am not, I am not uh, running the elections. Um, I think it's important for the committee to publicly, publicly, uh, the Elections Board publicly pronounce itself on this issue, so that we avoid a situation where they will do this to the end, then people either go to the tribunal or to the court or petition the cabinet secretary, and we start saying, okay, the team, should the candidate in this situation uh, be able to run? Uh, I think, uh, um, should the candidate uh, uh, running with Nick win? We, do, we should not have a situation where we again come and say, oh, this is being disbanded, there was no proper qualification. The, the, what I would put as a proviso is that a president can run for any other seat. I think the second or the third American president, after finishing for presidency, he ran for Senate, and he served in the Senate. So if President Uru Kenyatta today wanted to be an MCA or a senator or a governor, he can do that. But to run for deputy president is not possible because it is the same qualification. So if Nick still is desirous to become uh, a committee member of FKF or uh, Secretary General or any other position, I think this is constitutionally, this is specific to the holding office of a vice president of, of term limits. And I think I owe the country a proper legal advice as a lawyer, not sitting just there to, to look at things the, the, it is, but also to avert a crisis where we will reach on 7th of December and, and say that uh, uh, whatever. And, and to be very fair, so that people don't look at me as uh, coming here to interfere with elections, Nick has served uh, fantastic. Uh, and he deserves to want to run for any other seat except for president and vice president. If he wants to do so, he has the freedom to do so. But to keep, to, to, for him to in keep with our constitution, I think it's advisable that that position is cleared now. And I hope when the FKF elections board come here, they can clear that now 
so that Kenyans do not live with uh, that uncertainty going forward. And I'm happy that the board is being high, led by a professor, so it, it should not be very difficult for him to appreciate uh, the legal position. Thank you, Chair. 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 Yeah. Uh, Maybe it... before we go ahead, uh, there are a few members who entered as we are going on with our meeting. They can introduce themselves. Starting Chair, from... Chair, Chair, thank you very much. My name is Charles Nguna. 